We're going to print. There's nothing else left to say. Matilda, I really don't think we covered all of our bases. Yeah, it's a pretty serious accusation. We get this wrong, and our entire credibility could be tarnished. What we have is gold. And this is how it went down. 200 bucks. That's all it says. Now it's going inside the B+. Miss Jesse, isn't that like illegal? Who cares? I'll pass the flying colors now. But he did mention my final may cost a bit more. Mm. I heard it straight from the source's mouth, so I went to work. I made the calls, emails. The whole thing was very hush. But it led to three students. So I tracked them each down and got their confessions. And everyone's going to hear it from the appeal first. The student body's gonna eat this up. A teacher taking money to raise a student's grade? This is a story we've been waiting for! Maybe we should run this by Mr. Daniels first. Yo, Mr. Daniels, what you think? He's definitely guilty. There you go. Time to print. You think he loses his job? I don't know. You see that out there, dear Timothy? I do. It's beautiful. The crinkle of a freshly opened paper, eyes scanning down the page, the student body enlightened. It's very poetic. This is a dream. This is what the appeal's all about. Delivering the truth, hitting them with the facts. What about getting in trouble? Matilda Higgins, my office, now! Why does that tone not suggest accolades? Matilda, what is this? The Attaway Appeal School newspaper? I know that. This story, these accusations. We simply uncovered the truth. All of these students admitted to paying Mr. Chester to raise their grades. No, I didn't. I don't even know what she's talking about. This is unacceptable. I have students coming up and trying to bribe me. Plus another hundred angry emails from parents. What? They all gave me verbal testimonials. I have the notes right here. I never talked to her. I don't even know who she is. But this is ridiculous. Am I losing my mind? Okay. I'm making an announcement. I want every paper thrown out. Every single one. But- I have to figure out what your proper punishment will be. Effective immediately, I'm removing you from your position at the Attaway Appeal. You can go. I expect you to write a formal and sincere letter of apology to Mr. Chester and hand it to Simon to be published in the Attaway Appeal. I need verbal confirmation you heard me. Yes, sir. Get out of here. Per Attaway Appeal Constitution, written by Matilda herself, if the editor-in-chief can no longer take position due to natural disaster, food poisoning, act of God, or any other circumstances, then second command will take over editor-in-chief duties. If I'm not mistaken, uh, that's you, Simon. Oh, well, um, well, uh, not quite how I pictured taking command. It's yours, dude. Do your thing. I mean, are you guys sure you even need a leader? After all, uh, the appeal is a news team. Emphasis on team. Every team needs a leader, man. All right, guys, this is America, land of the free, home of the brave. And cliches too, apparently. I, your former editor-in-chief, will maintain my stance in the pursuit for the truth in that three students gave testimonials regarding Mr. Chester. Whether that's true or false, those responsible will answer for it. And I will hunt down and stand by the truth until my grave. Oof, she's monologuing. Damn it, Billy, I practiced this. Where was I? No offense, Matilda, but you made a mistake and these are your consequences. Isn't that the point of investigative journalism? We don't report the news for people to feel good about themselves. Our stories, the juicy ones, are meant to bring light and repercussions, sometimes on both sides. I'll take care of the appeal, Matilda. Don't worry. Sorry to bother you guys. Oh, and uh, Matilda, Principal Mathers told me about the letter you're writing, so just let me know when you've written that up, and uh, we'll go from there.
Tiny Tim. Hey, Matilda. Sorry about the paper. You believe me though, right? It did seem too good to be true. Yeah, but I was set up. I know you're not lying, but someone is. I'm gonna find them for you. You are? That's right. And if I do, you have to buy me ice cream. Dude, if you find out who set me up, I'll buy you all the ice cream. All right then. I'm gonna need some information. Broadcast through the hallways that they paid for their grades. I don't get it. Rooney, I know we don't know each other very well. Actually, you've literally never said a word to me. Wait, I was just wondering if I could see your camera. Please, I need your help. Matilda needs it. Come on. Get him. Wow, you have a really nice Five, voice. Okay. Four. Great addition last week, guys. So. What do we have on tap for this week? Our middle hitter for girls volleyball is rumored to be a descendant of the Amazons. I want to dig deeper. I'll write about the death of YOLO. I believe in reincarnation, so it would be like YOLO except when you reincarnate. So YOLO, E-W-Y-R. Great, solid stuff. Um, actually, I've got an English report due in a few days, if you don't mind. Sam, when you're at the appeal, I have your time. Now, I need you to draft up a piece that exonerates Mr. Chester for when we print Matilda's apology letter saying, you know, it was all poor reporting and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Really think she'll write that? Uh, she has to. We've got him. This is why there should never be a second in command. Power corrupts. To be fair, it's just a school newspaper. Sorry. What is it? This is bulletproof, Matilda. No, this isn't proof to anyone but me. What are you talking about? Context aside, you see these? What are they? Photographs of Simon chit-chatting and high-fiving fellow students in the school? But the money. He's paying them back for lunch. These are as good as my notes. I see. What do we do? You did good. Timothy, we're still in this together, right? Of course. Oh, hey, welcome back, you two. Got anything for me today? Nothing concrete yet. Hey, let's make it solid. You guys are still with us, right? The Attaway Appeal? 100%. Good. If you don't mind, the machine doesn't exactly do ice cream sundaes. I kind of prefer these. We'll get them. Well, we have eyes, ears, and cameras on the inside. Maybe we can get a video camera. Can't fake that. You're right. Have you seen that recent Bigfoot video? 
completely different. <laughs> hey, Matilda, I have one last question. Always in journalist mode, I like it. Shoot. What are you going to date with me?